Season 2, Episode 3. Welcome to the Baseline Feed Podcast. My name is Tanner Wood, and I'll be your host once again. This is our third episode this season, and seriously, your support means the world to us. We must thank you for all of your continued support. Are you a producer or a voice actor? We could work with you. Get more information at BaselineFeed.com or send a voice demo to casting at BaselineFeed.com. Also, you can check out our website at BaselineFeed.com for more information. Here, we are presenting the story of Worker 469. Who is he? Where is he? He doesn't even know. But someone does. Supervisor Utley, and he utilizes Worker 469 to pursue his own goal. But even Supervisor Utley is being used by someone else. To what end? That's up to you to discover. In a story brought to you by Arthur Unk and Tori Miller, with the voices of C.M. Peters, Tori Miller, Katie Tatry, Harley Easton, Eric Phones, and myself, Tanner Wood. On behalf of the Baseline Feed team, we hope you enjoy Scary Corp. My name is Griffin Utley, and welcome to Scary Corp. Here at Scary Corp, you've been selected to design tomorrow's scariest horror stories today. We welcome you. Worker 469. Your job as a creation specialist is to develop horror stories that really keep the lights on in people's homes. To help with this process, we've provided a chair, a desk, and most importantly, a scary kit. What's in it, you may ask? Your scary kit contains the following. One main character, one villain or monster, one pint of blood, one bucket of gore, assorted giblets. And, as a bonus, coffee and cigarettes. Please note that the coffee and cigarettes have already been deducted from your paycheck. We hope to see progress from you soon. Where the hell am I? What, what, what the hell's going on? Where, where are my friends? Where are you going? Worker 469. You have stories to create. While your creative process intrigues us, please do not go through the yellow door. You realize that I can see everything you do, right? Bet you thought I was a disembodied voice hidden in the walls, but no, I'm inside your head. I don't care where you're at. Where are my friends? Where am I? I cannot tell you where they are, but the sooner you create a scary tale, the sooner this will be over. Fuck your stories. I want to go home. Now where am I, and how do I get out of here? This is Scary Corp. Currently, you are in the break room. All items and details within this room are colored yellow. This reduces mindless thinking from our employees. Every yellow room is a break room. Now, since you haven't worked hard enough to earn a break, why don't you head back to your desk in the other room? Or, I can persuade you. Get bent, mystery voice. way it is then. Oh, look at you! Think you can control your environment by barricading yourself in? How exciting! 
show yourself or let me the fuck out of here. Oh? A challenge? No matter. Allow me to persuade you against this insolence. For your convenience and the convenience of others, I took the liberty of bolting down everything within the room. The items bolted down are, but not limited to, vending machines, refrigerators, tables, chairs, picture frames, the coffee maker, butter dishes, ferrets, five invisible ninjas that you totally ignored, and... Oh. Oh my. Did that go through your feet? (laughs) You're sick. Noted. Uh, sorry about that. I know. Let's try this again, shall we? The story creation chamber will restart in three, two, one. What the hell? What just happened? Hello, my name is Griffin Utley, and welcome to Scary Corp. Here at Scary Corp, you've been selected to design tomorrow's scariest horror stories today. We welcome you. Worker 469. God damn it, answer me! What the hell just happened? Your job as a creation specialist is to develop horror stories that will make the audience soil themselves. To help in this process, we've provided a chair, desk, and most importantly, a scary kit. Isn't this fun? Now, don't go running off like last time. While there is a door to your left, please ignore the blue door. Failure to do so will only end in regret. Screw you and your shitty rules. I'm out. Seriously? What did I just tell you? Return to your desk immediately. No! You must think that you're so smart trying to escape and forgetting all about your work. Indeed, an inspiration to everyone. Now you're forcing me to do something... terrible. Hmm? What's this? What? Oh, I see. That makes sense. I know you can't see this, but I just pulled up your employee file and come to find out You're a Purdue graduate. It makes so much sense now. I can see why you're having such a hard time following directions. Granted, you're better than... Worker 468. Who graduated from Harvard. He kept complaining that we didn't have a yacht club. Can you believe the guy? A yacht club. (laughs) Why don't you let me go? I'm not gonna write any stupid-ass story. Get me out of here! Since you're having a hard time working due to running away, etc., etc., perhaps I can just show you what you need to do. First, let me get you your scary kit. As you may have noticed, the scary kit is blue, like the door you just ran through. And now it's about the size of a refrigerator box. Also, everything work-related has now been colored blue to reduce irrational thinking amongst employees. (laughs) Yeah, I... I think you're an asshole. Noted. My superiors told me that I was rather impersonal earlier in the break room. Therefore, allow me to introduce you to... God Mode! Now let's see what we have inside your kit, shall we? God Mode activated. This is God Mode. Two fists the size of a smart car with a knuckle tattoo saying God Mode. Neat, huh? Now, let's see what's in your box. Bucket of gore. Nope. Pint of blood. Ah, here we are. One main character. Oh, wait. It's only a flesh copy. Say goodbye to your twin. What the... (laughs) Sorry, did I get blood on you? No matter. Let's see here. There's one more thing I need. There we go. Say hello to my little werewolf friend. That 
That's a good dog. Hey, wait! Ah, uh, Warren, can I have a quick word? Um, uh, sure. I'm all ears. Hi, it's Supervisor Utley from Creations. Uh, do you have to eat my employee right in front of me? That's kind of just gross. Yeah, yeah, I, I can tell by the amount of entrails in your mouth that you're hungry. Look, we have a break room for a reason. It's yellow. You can't miss it. I hate to break it to you, Supervisor Ugly, but wolves like me can't see color. I don't even know what yellow is. It's Oatly, not Ugly. Wait, what do you mean you can't see color? Everyone can see color, Warren. I've never been able to see color, you specious prick. I think I'll fill out a 4452R and contact HR about this. Fine, be that way. I don't care who you call. Joke's on you, pal. creation chamber will restart in three, two, one. Stop eating me, stop eating me, stop eating me, get out, get out, get out. Hello? Hello? Where the fuck is he? Oh hey, look, a green door. I'm just gonna walk through it and get out of here. No one will ever know. Fuck this place, I'm going home. Unbelievable. They had to place one bathroom on this floor, near the explosions and scary voices department. What's this? Oh hell, you've got to be kidding me. Really? Mandatory sensitivity training is required. Please arrive to work on... That's like my whole weekend. Well, I'll show you sensitivity. Surprise! I'm still here. Now, I could go into my spiel, but you seem to know how this is supposed to work. As you can tell, lots of details in this area are green. That's because this is the director's wing. Now, let's follow some directions and get back to fucking work. I'm not sure I can stop what might happen next if you don't return to your work area. For your convenience, I locked the door to Director Morgan's office. She would be pissed if you just went around and started snooping in her office. You won't find the way out in there. Oh, oh really? Let's test that theory. Maybe she hid the key under this loose tile. The flooring? That is definitely coming out of your paycheck, and, and you're destroying company property. Correction, I'm improving it. Supervisor key acquired. At this point, I'm not even surprised anymore. Fine, you win. You get the special prize of nothing, because nothing is in there. Oh, shocker. Another lie. Uh, this, this office is full. I can barely move around in here. She's the lead director here at Scary Corp. Look, I get that you want to go back home and finish your game night or whatever, but can you please return to the workroom so we can sort this out? Please, just this once. Piss off? Look, I'm not going to lie to you. I find Morgan to be a creepy person to work with. I mean, look at her workbench, and her android is staring at you with murderous intent. Jesus, don't wave at it. Hey, hey, you, 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 yeah. Do you, do you know any way out of here? I'm not quite sure. Have you tried looking at the computer over there? Thanks for the tip. You're welcome.
If you find a way out, be sure to come on by and help a girl out, will ya? Are either of you even listening? You better start listening to me. Director Morgan is coming down the hall. She's either going to kill you, or I will. Let's see if she has a password under this keyboard. Morgan loves Stanley XOXO6969. Ugh, really? Stanley? What a creep. Great, now it's on the welcome screen with that circle of death swirling. What now, genius? And now we play the waiting game. Wait a second. Why does this video file have my name on it? Oh god, you're not going to open that, are you? Ah! What the hell? Why am I being killed over and over? Oh god. I... sort of been recording all the ways I've killed you. This gives me the fuel necessary to write my own side story. I'm calling it Aesop Noir. And besides, you're supposed to be learning a lesson, but apparently never do. I... I don't remember any of this. How long have I been here? Well... Griffin, you tell me how long right now. Seven-ish years, maybe, perhaps. I don't exactly have access to a calendar or a clock right now. They revoked those privileges a long time ago. Something about improving productivity amongst staff members. What? S seven years? You liar! You cannot keep me trapped here forever. I know there's something useful in this office. Dear God! It's like the head just... Hey, Morgan. It's Griffin. Griffin Utley from Creations. I honestly don't know how... Worker 469. ...got in here. Funny, right? But but I did try to stop them. Honest. Hmm. Right. Next you're going to be telling me that my android scares you. It really does, actually. Aww. You're not a scary android, Alice. What's scary is that this idiot let an employee run around my office trying to find a way out. The least you could have done was give Alice the common courtesy of using her pronouns. She told you last week during our team meeting. Were you even listening? You know what? I should be... Going? Oh, no, we can't have that. Besides, I have a present for you. From me to you for doing such an incredible job. Here, let me get it for you. Uh, that's quite all right. I... A wand. Uh, I'm not really sure what I would be able to do with a wand, not being a witch and all. Okay, okay, shit! Screw you and your magic privileges! The story creation chamber will restart in three, two, one. God damn it, quit killing me! Hello, my name is Griffin Utley and welcome to Scary Corp. Here at Scary Corp, you've been selected to design tomorrow's scariest horror stories today. We welcome you. Worker 469. Your job as a creation specialist is to develop ideas for horror stories that really break people's brains. To help with this process, we provided just a box that contains your scary kit. I also took the liberty of deleting all doors from your workspace to increase productivity for the record. <sighs> also, for the record, let it be known that Morgan is a bitch. Noted. Morgan is a bitch. Just to make triple sure, you now have everything you will ever need to produce a story. Now then. Why don't you open that box and let's get... Hold on. Why don't you just hang tight and think about the horror story you want to create? Uh, hi Morgan. Wh what are you doing here? I thought you were in the other building, and why is Alice with you? 
Does it matter, Mr. Utley? After all, I have a message from the top that requires your full attention. Can't you just send it over email? I'm afraid not. Okay. I regret to inform you, Mr. Utley, but Scary Corp is undergoing some... budget cuts. Such cuts include, but are not limited to, Supervisor of Creations number 672. This is an outrage. When Bill hears about this, I'll... Alice? Yes, Director Morgan? Please return my wand back to my desk. As you command, Director Morgan. Hey, did, 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 did you just kill that dick? Does this mean I get to go home now? What? That's funny. I thought they had died already. If you can't tell... Worker 469. It appears that creation supervisor Utley cannot come to the mic just now. He has recently retired due to budget cuts. So what does that mean for me? Can I go home? Well, your position has also been eliminated. Catastrophic end sequence initiated. World will be destroyed in 10, 9, 8, 7. No, 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 no. I've got to get back to my family. I wouldn't worry about that. You killed your friends seven years ago. What? No, I... uh... Yes, you did. This simulation was put in place to see if we could wake you from your coma to be put on trial. However... Your state insurance expired today. Three, two, one. Thank you for working at Scary Court. Goodbye. Computer, delete simulation titled Scary Corp. Authorization July 31, 2011. Acknowledged. File Scary Corp has been successfully deleted. Poor Griffin. Never saw that coming. Neither did... Worker 469. Once again, thank you to Arthur Unk and Tori Miller for this fun story. And let's highlight our voice talent. C.M. Peters as the computer. Tori Miller as Warren. Katie Tatry as Alice. Harley Easton as Morgan. Eric Phones as... Worker 469. And Tanner Wood as Griffin Utley. The sound design was by Tanner Wood. Episode artwork by Peyton Odin, whom you can find on Instagram at Peyton K. Odin. And music arrangements by C.M. Peters. We also have a Patreon. We would like to express our eternal love and gratitude to our patrons. You guys help make it possible to bring you quality content and our authors and voice talent more exposure. If you, the listener, would also like our eternal love and gratitude, along with other goodies, check us out on Patreon. You can find the link to it on our website, BaselineFeed.com. One last reminder, you can join us on Discord for more 
behind the scenes stuff. Thank you for joining us and make sure to tune in every other Saturday on your favorite podcast app to listen to a new episode of Baseline Feed.